Tonight, neighbors are reacting to a massive train derailment in Suffolk. It happened around 7 this morning on Welland Street. Several roads are still shut down from that derailment and could be for the next couple days. Town on your side's Kara Dixon was at the scene all day, joins us now live from the newsroom. And Kara, this happened in a neighborhood, and it seems to have been quite the talk of the town all day. It was, Brandy, and many people came to take a look at that scene, a lot of them saying they've never seen anything like this before. Neighbors say they knew it was bad when they heard the train go off the tracks this morning. A man-made mountain of steel and coal blocks Welland Street in downtown Suffolk. The community, often noisy from passing trains, now filled with the sounds of dump trucks. Uh, it took me from a sound sleep six inches off the bed. You know? It was a peculiar noise. I jumped about my bed and I ran to the door. And never did this is what I saw. All this stuff piled up. Like all this stuff is a train. Officials say 44 cars to be exact, all carrying coal piled on top of each other after derailing around 7 this morning. I have listened to this crashing, loud banging that went on and on and on. Robert Bass lives right down the street from where it all happened. But I've never, ever seen anything like this. When I walked down there, it was train cars packed up 30 feet high where they were just just smashed and mangled all the pieces. It, it was crazy. I've, I've never seen anything like it. On the other side of the track lives Barbara DeLoach. I, I didn't know I could look, open that door and look at all of this stuff. It's, it frightened me when I first saw it. I said, good God. While they're temporarily split by a train, they're together on one thing. I'm just glad that nobody got killed or hurt. No bad one no cars coming on the road or nothing like that. And that might not be for a while as crews continue to clean. It's something Bass says he's concerned about. It's inconvenient for me, but I know, I know this area well, so I know other ways to get around it. But it, it, I'm sure it's real inconvenient for other people, especially uh, people that need to get to dialysis or, uh, or to the hospital. Or Norfolk Southern says they could have those derailed cars removed as early as tomorrow with trains coming back through the area. They hope everything will be back up and running to normal within a week. In the newsroom, Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.